Hello everybody, welcome back to Fans React and this is a Fans React different for a change. We're actually not talking about the game or the result, we're talking about the news that's came out of Sunderland Football Club and that is that Phil Parkinson is departing the club or has departed the club should I say and for a lot of fans it's very good um, news, absolutely over the moon. Me personally I'm happy with it. Uh, we needed a change, it wasn't working, he had no plan B, his substitutions were absolutely bonkers and he couldn't inspire milk to curdle. So yeah, I'm glad he's gone to be honest with you. I do wish him all the best in the future wherever he goes. But yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing what happens now. It's going to be quite exciting. We've got players that could come back, say like McGeady for example. We get uh, The youngsters might get a bit more of game time against the uh, upcoming fixtures, especially Burton coming up on Tuesday. Be the ideal opportunity to uh, get some of the youngsters out there against a team that's only won two games from 14 matches. So yes, it's going to be very exciting. Let's see what the fans think anyway. Hi everybody, uh, just a quick reaction video to Phil Parkinson. Uh, on the train home on the way home from Graft, I get a Twitter notification from some of the FC thinking, oh, what is this rubbish going on here? And, uh, of course, it's uh, the news that uh, Mr Parkinson is part of company with Sunderland Football Club. Honestly, if I wasn't a fat old bloke and I could dance, I'd have danced a jig at the time. Um, not before long, I have to say. Results not really going our way. Bloke didn't know how to change a game at all. Um, it will be interesting to see what the future brings for us, who they're going to bring in. Um, a couple of names I might like to see. I think I'd love to see Poye back. Uh, Paul Cook, you know, has got to be in the run in there somewhere as well. But as Sundays go, it's not a bad one. Uh, no work until next Monday now. And uh, I'll drink the PP. Take it easy. Well, what can I say? He's a smile. I'm absolutely delighted he's gone. It needed to happen. I just hope this is the first announcement of many more good ones to come with, like uh, maybe a new takeover as well. Um, the important thing now is that they're replacing with somebody who actually can get us out of this league and they've got a plan going forward. Um, I'm not going to say much, I'm just really excited, having a drink. Uh, enjoy the night. Happy days. So, Phil Parkinson's been sacked from Sunderland this afternoon. I didn't expect it. Um, I thought they would have given him the Burton and Wigan games to try and uh, turn it around a bit. If he'd won the next two, then uh, it would probably have been a bit more positive going into uh, the rest of the games in December. Um, but I'm not disappointed to see him go as hard as it is for, uh, on a personal level for a man to, uh, to lose his job. I never thought Parkinson was a good fit for us. Um, as a club, I think we uh, respond better to managers who've got something about them. Um, at times, a bit of arrogance, um, a bit of aggression, but most of all, some passion and, and some real determination about them. And Parkinson never came across like that. And more importantly, neither did his teams. Um, his teams came across as dour and predictable, which is exactly what you'd say about him. Um, I did think at times we looked decent this season, uh, particularly in midfield, controlling the game. Uh, but it's all very well winning the ball and keeping possession. But if you can't do anything with it when you get into the final third, um, it's not really going to make much of a difference. Uh, and up front, uh, we just haven't got we haven't got the, the firepower, nor I think the intent from midfield to support the uh, the top line in really pushing uh, our opponents back uh, and playing attacking football. I think just too predictable. Um, so the football was turgid. I think we're all pretty much agreed on that. We probably could have lived with it if we'd been pushing in the top two. Um, but to have to watch it and, and hear his excuses afterwards, um, it was just like Groundhog Hog Day, sick of hearing it. Um, he also failed to give youth a chance. Embleton should have been on Friday night. I would have liked to have seen Dan Neal um, and certainly uh, Diamond. But there was times when they weren't even on the bench uh, while he stuck to the, the old guard. Um, and the old guard let him down, really. Um, by my reckoning, that's the second time a manager's signed Danny Graham and within a few months has lost his job because Danny Graham can't put the ball in the back of the net, which is the job he's uh, employed to do. Um, Aidan O'Brien's also been a flop for him. So straight away, there's two of his signings have, uh, have let him down and uh, he was relying a lot on them, I think, to come up with the goods this season. And it's not happened. Um, so, yeah, he's gone. I think it was only a matter of time. So I can't say I'm too disappointed to see him go. But let's see who we get in next. This is the key thing for me. Um, it's about the takeover. It's about a fresh broom coming in, uh, getting the structure of the club um, set up in a way 
that um, youngsters have got more of a chance coming through and, and we've got to sort out our recruitment because it's just it's just not good enough. Um, I don't know who that's going to be. Um, it could be somebody uh, from overseas um, in terms of the uh, domestic choices. Uh, Paul Cook sounds a good shout to me. I think Nigel Adkins is uh, underrated. I wouldn't be uh, too disappointed if we got him. The dream team for me would probably be uh, Nigel Pearson coming in with Phillips underneath him. Um, maybe Pearson, a director of football role. Um, that would um, would lift the fans, I think, for sure. So we'll have to see what comes in this next week. Um, presumably the Burton game, nothing changes, but maybe by the time we come to Wigan, we'll know all about the takeover, we'll know all about the new boss. And um, as a club, we'll find that fresh impetus that we need. It would certainly be nice to be uh, looking forward to games again instead of fearing the worst every single week. So, um, sorry Phil's lost his job, but um, as a club, we need to move on and we need to move on quickly. So uh, it was necessary. Phil Parkinson leaving and quite frankly I couldn't be happier. I've been dancing around the house for the last 45 minutes. Already had a noise complaint from the neighbours um, who are Southern fans as well. But I've just got to say that's a good job from the club, from the board. Thank God he's went, he's left. That one weight off his shoulders. We now have the chance and it looks to be confirmed that McGeady is back with someone sending some random f uh, photo through saying that he's registered for the squad um, hopefully that's true and I do believe now we can get better at the football we can go up and I do feel like this season is going to be the season we will go up well um, I was a bit shocked to hear the news today that uh, Parkinson had been sacked I mean it's not very pleasant to hear someone's lost the job but um, I think this had been coming for a while with the uh, tactics had been using, especially the last few matches and not using his squad and we need someone that's going to use all sections of the squad um, not just the, the most experienced but the youthful players that are doing well in the under 23s you know they need to be brought on and hopefully, out of the managers that um, are, out, are out there, possibly Nigel Payson could be one, or I don't know about Eddie Howe. And, I mean, Poyet coming back, I don't think it would be a bad choice. So, uh, we'll wait and see. So, Parky's been sacked. That's a relief. He should never. He was never the right fit for this club. Very poor appointment. He's not an awful manager. He's just not cut out for a, a big club with expectations. He did make us more durable and tough to beat at a time when we were struggling. At a smaller club that's happy with not losing and nicking results, he'd do a decent job. But for a club looking for promotion, no. He's been put out of his suffering and so have we. Moving forward, names in the hat, Cookie. Fighting League One, not so sure about the championship. Same with the Cowley brothers, although I thought they were harshly sacked by Huddersfield after keeping them up. Keno, obviously. Uh, while I like Keno and what he did here, I feel that the game has moved on. Players have more power and are more precious these days, mentally I mean, and that he would, and his approach would be too abrasive and he would alienate the dressing room. I would be happy with the Cowley brothers. I would be happy with Keane. Personally, I'd like to see Gustavo Poirier brought back. He would like to come back. He plays good passing football which will be a refreshing change after two year, after the Parky Hoofball era. He's had success in the lower leagues and taken clubs through. I feel that he is an appointment that would last and that could get us back in time to the Championship and the Premiership. Whether he gets it or not depends on the takeover and the finances, but that's who I'd like to see. What about you?